So apparently save and quit is coming to the new COD Zombies, guys. And the multiplayer's new slide mechanic looks like pre-motion sickness at its finest. Two really unexpected features that aren't sitting well with COD fans. And is getting the community riled up. Calling Black Ops 6 a failure from the get-go. But come on, the game isn't even out yet. We still have a few weeks to try it out and get some more reveal gameplay. It's all just very new and hard to take in, so I get it. I feel like every COD that comes out, the multiplayer players always get mad at some new movement mechanics that gets added to make every new cod feel fresh this has been a thing since i was a kid during the bo3 and events where for days they will learn to enjoy it once the game officially comes out but as for the zombies i think the biggest changes are going on there with this game mode because something we would have never thought would be in cod zombies is here being able to save your round progress and come back later is a game changer i mean it's getting people upset because i get it that's the whole selling point for this game mode the fact that you have to grind out rounds for hours and see how long you can survive but this new feature will make things less legit as people will post their highest rounds in solos only for it to be fake due to the new save feature i think this is a good thing for the easter egg hunters and content creators this would allow them to really experiment in black ops 6 zombies without the hassle of dying and having to start from scratch i guarantee because of the new zombie save and quit feature in solos all easter eggs and tips and tricks are going to be up on youtube in a matter of hours on release because it's going to make it easier for those zombie youtubers to explore everything in the new mode i get everyone's outraged by being able to save in zombies but i don't know i don't think it matters since it's only gonna be in single player now if it were multiplayer then i get it i would get the anger within the cod community because like what's the point of playing a round based zombie survival mode if you could just come back where you left off kind of defeats the purpose although this is probably gonna make up for the short attention span we all have nowadays everything's very fast paced and short term the old zombies formula might not work with the new cod and that's why triarch decided to add a save and quit option in their new cod zombies let me know what you guys think in the comments for solos it's all good multiplayer that's gonna be a problem the announcement of this new feature is rubbing a lot of cod players the wrong way despite all this i'm happy zombies is back finally a reason to buy a new call of duty because i haven't played since cold war and this one looks amazing they're really gonna start catering to old fans they're already gonna give us a bunch of crossover maps character appearances they already made a reference to rectofin in the trailer the lore continues and i'm already starting to like the new characters graphics look amazing too they even let us choose our own hud layouts with a legacy option to make it look like black ops 3 you can turn off health bars on you and zombies pack a punch weapon camos too to preserve that unique look for your weapons after you upgrade it the hud is super customizable probably the most it's ever been in any cod zombies ammo mods custom perks are back field upgrades custom loadouts too they're returning you can punch with your fists again melee the field upgrades are going to be just like bo3 the aether shroud frenzied healing aura and energy mine is making a return with the new field upgrade called dark flare that generates a massive energy beam that inputs shadow damage to Destroying anything in its path. Crafting tables back from Cold War. You can craft traps and grenades in it. Support equipment too, like self revive, sentry turns, and more. Gobble gummies are back. New perk colas. And some returning ones, of course. The new melee macchiato seems interesting. A new alternative if you don't want to use guns for some reason. New ammo crates to ensure you and your team don't run out of ammo during high pace rounds. A raft is also going to be added. Seems like it's just for Terminus. But there's going to be a lot to explore with that map compared to other ones like Liberty Falls. We don't know too much about the other cod map as of right now besides the fact that it's set in west virginia and has more light and airy than terminus more buildings in town like instead of that tropical feeling the little screenshot we have says a lot personally i think it looks like sideshow from advanced warfare weird comparison but more light is being shed onto terminus right now liberty seems chill like a spring and prey type of solo map but obviously more love went into terminus i don't know i may be wrong let's come back and see in a few weeks as for power-ups it seems like triarch removed carpenter all we saw was insta kill double points the basics but carpenter and fire sale is gone maybe in the liberty fills reveal trailer we'll get a peek at it but if not we haven't seen anything about these power-ups a lot of cod news outlets have already been confirming that carpenter is gone i think charge just ditched it at least wall buys are still here they better keep that old formula despite all these extra stuff mystery boxes of course they're gonna be in the game like come on guys the zombies in black ops 6 seem more intimidating i'm not sure if it's just terminus but they seem more crowded up like a horde the description on the blog post reads they will follow you if you walk too fast they'll rip off a piece of themselves like their arm and throw it at you causing range damage armored zombies are back heavy zombies like cold war a new parasitic like creature that's gonna spawn in in the high rounds this is gonna be annoying it looks like the devs just took this straight from resident evil 4 but they can latch on to you fly and amp up zombies oh boy that's gonna be annoying a new zombies boss called the tentacle straight out of stranger things just expect to deal with this guy definitely has to do with the story and also 
the raft that I mentioned before. In a nutshell, this is what we can expect from zombies. I'm hype. We're just two months away. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention that they have a new pre-order bonus, a reflective 114 camo pack for tools, ray guns, and more. This all looks really promising. Chark is really trying to cater to us and make us happy. And make up for all the lack of content over the years. Zombies is really back now, man. I know a lot of people are upset with the changes to both multiplayer and zombies, but man, it's like this every year. It's the phase and whenever any COD comes out, the hype starts, then the controversy, but everybody buys it anyway, so who cares? Multiplayer though, I'm not gonna lie, that's gonna be a problem with that new slide mechanic. I've even heard that people are already hacking on the beta and abusing it like crazy. Oh boy, this year is gonna be insane. Anyways, just wanted to talk on this. We don't talk too much about COD on the channel, but would something interest me enough like this new zombies, I have to talk about it. So everybody's crap talking it and I don't like it. It looks really good. I'm excited. If you are too, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, leave a comment on everything I said in this video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Stay blue.